In this video, we'll look at how to use setup hover events with JavaScript. So you might already know that there are CSS selectors that will allow you to change the style and appearance of an element when the user hovers over it with their mouse. And this technique can take you quite a long way, there's a lot of complicated things that you can set up with this, but if you do need to fire some JavaScript code when the user hovers over a particular element, then you'll need to set up a couple of event listeners. So here I've just set up two event listeners on the container object on the page, and as you can see therefore mouse enter and mouse leave. So when we drag the mouse into the box, you can see the first event listener is triggered and the console log on the first line is displayed. And of course when we take the mouse out of the box, the mouse leave event listener is fired. So as mentioned previously, a lot of the styling in terms of colour and appearance, even things like size and position of a particular element can all be changed with a CSS hover selector. But one particular use case for using the mouse enter and mouse leave events is perhaps if you need to change some text or possibly retrieve some data from an external source. So this time when we move the mouse inside and outside of the box, you can see we're able to dynamically update the actual text that's inside of that container element. So whilst again this could be done with CSS by having two elements and changing their display properties depending on the hover state, you can see when you need to do more complicated things, using the event listeners in JavaScript will make making those updates a lot easier. 